when I was telling a lot of the fans on social media about you coming out here, one of the things they wanted me to ask you about is uh, the 2011 Truck Series season, which was really a great story. It ended poorly for you, but um, you won your 50th career win of your 51 truck races, and you clawed back from like ninth in points at one point in the season to be 15 points out of the championship battle, winning races, Y'all made some great adjustments mid-season at Kevin's uh, to make your truck more competitive. You're 15 points out going into Texas, and you and Kyle got together. Kyle, you got loose trying to get around lap car. Kyle was right on your door. Y'all get together, go up into the wall. Everybody's seen the seen the footage. He goes down in the corner and wreck you. Uh, under caution. Under caution. Everybody's dying f- for me to ask you about that experience. Took you out of the opportunity to win – the truck series titled Austin Dillon goes on to win the truck series that season, but, uh, amazing year up to that point. I mean, you're, how did you handle that being wrecked intentionally under caution? How did that, how did you're a veteran? Uh, like what, what, what are your, what are your emotions when you think about that? You trying to calm me down. Are you trying to calm me down while you keep talking or you, you want me to take, take the fifth? Or go to a commercial break and I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not over it? No. I, I, no. I mean, I, I'm not over it the way it was handled afterwards. Yeah. You know, NASCAR did what they had to do. And uh, I, I wanted to say my, my piece with, with Kyle at the time. And NASCAR pushed me away like they always do. And I got in the trailer. And I, I started changing my clothes. And I listened to his arrogancy on TV about because he's mad at everybody else. He wrecked me. And I got so mad, I started running over there, and I got all the way to the trailer, and I got grabbed. And they said, "Well, if you, if you do anything about it, we can't do nothing about it." Long story short, NASCAR made him call me, and I, I like anybody else, you're the greatest there ever was. You could be the Dale Earnhardt, you could be the Richard Petty. Just you got to just calm down and 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 quit talking about other other drivers. Just talk about what you've that's done. That's like Kyle. Yeah, and that's what I told him. I mean, we talked 15, 20 minutes. And it, I don't know if he grasped it other than, yeah, 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 and I don't know. And like 20 minutes later, I get a phone call from NASCAR. Well, did Kyle call me? I said, well, yeah, but I mean, what did that do? I mean, it don't do nothing other than, you know, he knew what happened. I just done passing down straight when he got a draft back and he got up on the outside and got me loose. And, on, and that's the long story, end of the story. And, yeah. and we weren't hurt that bad. Our trucks just scraped the yeah. fence. We could have went on and still finished first and second with two fastest trucks out there. And I think third was gone. And, uh, it kind of ruined. I mean, after that, I mean, my season was done if it wasn't for for Turner. I mean, my my career was done if it wasn't for Steve Turner. Yeah. So I mean, it was, it was tough. So that still bothers you. I have a lot. Of, uh, well, it bothers me because you, you, I see him today. He can't look me in the eyes. He he, he won't. And my, I I went over and graduated him when he beat my record. You know, for the most wins. And this, you know, he was talking to Mr. Hendricks, and I shook his hand and said, "Man, it's a great accomplishment. It, it, it's least races that you run." To, to, to beat me and he said well thank you i appreciate that and that's all we've ever talked about we go to the racetrack now he, he can't look at me i mean he's not i don't know how you call it it's it's over with it's done you want to become buds or you want to become enemies we can say enemies and i'll see you at a bar someday and kick your ass <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> sounds to me like though you're seeking you were you were trying to seek closure but you weren't able to get it i, I don't know if that i mean the, the kid's great i mean he's, he's Unbelievable. Now he's got a family hoping he calm down a little bit more. But I mean, if you watch him, every time he got out of a car, he badmouthed his crew. He badmouthed the car. It was never his fault. I mean, you got to take common sense. I mean, damn, I screwed up sometime. Yeah. And just don't talk about it. I mean, you're you're a hero. People are watching you. And I mean, he's doing great things. I'm glad to see him growing up a ton of, of helping a lot of kids, a lot of people with, with, uh, having babies now yep. and stuff like that. I mean, great things he's doing. And I think his, his wife's really pushed him to do that stuff. And, and look what he's doing with his race team like you. You're helping young kids out and, and getting an opportunity to go racing. So yeah. he's got a great heart, but he's got to understand there's kids watching him with the M&M's logo and all that stuff. He's got to watch yeah. what he says off the thing. He can't, second place, there's nothing wrong with second. I mean, you <laughs> can be humble sometimes. 